Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Psycho Time Plays Bloodborne. Alright, in today's episode, let's do a little bit of backtracking here. And get back to... I guess I'm going to take a left up here and just continue down that path. I mean, I don't have a lot of options, honestly. I could... I want to know what that was swinging at. That upsets me. Uh, I've got to open that, I think, to progress. Oh, wait. No, I don't. Ha ha. Wait. We're going to go this way, guys. And I'm going to make a conscious effort to not use eight millions, like, uh, uh, mm, uh, like, uh, mm, uh, over the course of this video. Because I notice I do that a lot. It's... It's a very terrible talking habit. Oh no. Oh, that's upsetting. Ah. That's more upsetting. <laughs> I forgot there was a crow in that corner. Um and there I go breaking my own rule. I'm gonna remove that though. Wee! Let's go this way. Crows! Beautiful, wonderful crows! Uh, madman's knowledge. Good. Ooh, pebbles? No, just a specter. Uh, the only thing that the crows can drop, if I remember, is just. Mad or uh, pebbles, so. Uh huh, there we go. Ow. Well, put me in my place, didn't you? Thumeru Root Chalice. Um, if you guys want to see the chalices, by the way, let me know. I really don't mind doing them. I kind of enjoy the chalice dungeons, as opposed to some people that I know of that don't. And, uh, I think they're fun. They were an interesting way to give the ability for this game to have, like, fresh material even past its expiration date. Got you. Got you. Is there going to be blood stain? Yes. Okay, good. That's very important. There we go. I have a little bit more health back. Whatever. Alright. Next up. You. You've got what I. Oh, no. There we go. Now I remember. These guys are very easy to backstab. I'm completely fighting them wrong. Wooden shield. Wooden shield. You will never see me use that wooden shield, by the way. It's terrible. Um, where... I guess I really don't have an option. I have got to buy an item in order to progress. It's just kind of annoying. Oh well. Figure out you two. Grab some pebbles. Woo, pebbles. Literally the cheapest item in the game and they will never scale up in price. Um, you, sir. There we 
go. <coughs> and you. Give me that spawn. And... Down there was just the area with Alfred. I know that I need 10,000, which is kind of not cool of the game. Sorry, I have to really focus with these guys because they're kind of so huge that they obscure the areas that you end up fighting all of them in. Come on. Swing. Swing, bada bada bada. Oh. That was a pretty good swing. That was a pretty good swing, bro. I wasn't dissing your baseball skills. I knew that you could swing for the fences. You just had to try. You had to believe in yourself. Please, please, please. <laughs> uh. Not gonna lie, that was just me, like, tapping the button, praying that he died. here this this is like the one part of the game that I don't appreciate because the only way to progress past that gate is to get an item that you have to farm and purchase uh. Also not cool with you guys bringing out those fast swipes all of a sudden. I don't remember you guys having that. There we go. Let's drink another one because I might get up to four off this guy. There we go. I keep saying drink, but you guys are just going to have to forgive me. I'm used to games having potions. In Demon Souls, it was munching, because you would just, like, shove grass in your mouth. Pebbles. And more vials. Okay, that gives me enough, so let's run back. I could have farmed for that off-screen, but honestly, I forgot about it. I forgot the only way to progress that area was to literally farm an item. So... Let's take a magical journey into the Hunter's Dream! And while we do that, I'm gonna check my text messages, maybe look around on Tumblr. Yep. Yep. Stop showing off the batches, guys. Okay. You. Now, you run on over here, purchase items, no, I think it's... Yeah, key items. This... I feel like this should have been dropped somewhere or been given to you from something. Not, hey, save up 10,000 blood echoes and buy it. Don't get me wrong. It is one of the few flaws in this game that I can find. So, it's not like it's crippling a game in any way. It's just... With all the other things, it feels like that's a mistake. Like, so many other things are perfect in this game, and then you have that where it's like, why do I have to do this random, inane thing? Uh, physical attack up. HP continues to recover. That's actually pretty good. Um, what that is doing is giving me HP regen, so it's handy. 
You'll never get enough to really make it worthwhile unless you spec fully for it. Let's see, is Kerman down here? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Nope, not down here. And I had another thing to show you guys. Let's go into the inventory. Let's use two of these. Now, this is now active. I should have done it in front of it because if you're in front of it, they will actually pop out of the water. But either way, purchase with insight. Woo! I want this. Huh. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, it's not going to let me buy both. And here you can buy Gashion's outfit. It's pretty good. Like, I think that stat-wise it might be good enough that it's worth buying outright, but let me just give another look. Uh, I could buy a couple of these, but they're really not worthwhile. So, now I'm down to two insight. Whenever I leave this, huh. Well, that's a change. It used to be that if you dropped below 10 insight and you left the shop, those things would just go away again. I guess they changed that. It's not a bad change. Um, mm, I mean, I could buy these things, but... I don't know. Don't really care for them. Let's just go back to the place where we can do this stuff. Yeah. Alrighty. <laughs> Molotov cocktail. One of the oldest tools available in the workshop. So yeah, the first thing that they thought whenever they saw giant monsters walking towards them was burn it with fire. You gotta love them. Um... I've never understood the, like, blue elixir. The description makes it sound like perhaps the world that you are seeing is not real. Which would be interesting, but I kind of hate the mechanic of, like, this is not the real world. Hmm. I haven't gotten her to appear yet. Ow. That was pretty horrible of me. I'm not gonna lie. I forgot about that person. Either way, um, this episode's kind of getting long enough that I'm gonna trim it here, and in the next part, we're going to take a wild left, run down there, and head towards the actual cathedral ward proper. So, catch you guys in the next part. Later.